guys, welcome back. So today I've got my top five under five for you guys. So this is going to be my top five products that I absolutely love that cost $5 or less, which is really exciting because you guys know I love me some affordable makeup. I am a drugstore makeup girl. I love finding gems that are super affordable. So this video is right up my alley. I'm doing this as a collab with my friend Candace from Fancy That With Candace. Candace is so cute. She has such a great channel. She's just like, one of those fun girls to watch that puts you in a good mood. And her video quality is so good. I remember when I first found her channel, I think it was like, it must have been around Halloween because it was like a Halloween type tutorial. And her editing and just her videography is so good. So her quality is amazing and she's just really cute and fun to watch. So yeah, we thought it would be fun to talk about our top five products under $5. So after you watch my video, don't forget to go check out Candace. I will link her channel and her video down below for you guys. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so I tried to arrange my picks in order of like, I really like them up to I can't live without these products. And those will be towards the end of the list of products. So first, I do have a couple of honorable mentions. These are not in my top five. I could live without these, but I just feel like they're both really nice products that are really good quality that I wanted to mention them to you. So first off is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone Palette. I love all the Wet n Wild eyeshadows. I really do think that they're nice, but this one in particular, I just really love. And these are crazy pigmented. Um, Honestly, you kind of have to be a little bit careful with them because like this one right here will totally take over your entire eye look if you're not careful with it. But I mean, it's just beautiful. Don't mind the Chester wounds. He's always getting me. But um, he gets me with his back claws is what he does. But anyway, um, just really nice. It's just, ugh, it's really great. I could live without it though. I don't grab for it super often, but I do feel like it's great quality. And then these are the Wet n Wild, I think they're called the Mega Last lipsticks. And they're like, I think $1.99. I'm wearing this one right now. This is in Cherry Pickin' and it's just a beautiful kind of red color. But these are a really nice creamy sort of a matte. They're not full on matte. They have a little bit of a creamy sheen to them, but they're really comfortable, very, very pigmented, lots of fun colors. They're really nice. I don't grab for them every day. I could live without them. That's why they're honorable mentions, but they are just great quality products. So I did wanna throw these in there really quick. So my first official pick would be the Jordana blushes. I absolutely love these. I did choose two that I tend to grab for more often. The first one is Sunlit Bronze. So this is a really nice, just wearable, kind of a peachy color. They do have some really nice bright colors too. So, I mean, if you want like a almost burgundy looking cheek, they've got it. If you want a really bright pink, they've got it. So there's a lot of brighter, deeper options too, but these are just two that I wear often. And this one is Rose Silk. Just a really beautiful, kind of light baby pink, but it's a little bit more on the mauve -y side. These are beautiful. They're really pigmented, really creamy, comfortable on the cheeks, um, meaning they're not like chalky or weird texture. Um, they're easy to work with and they last really well on the cheeks. Like I would put these against my higher end blushes, like some of my higher end blush favorites and say, I like these just as much or probably more because they're so affordable. But just look at those colors, so pretty so wearable, just a really nice formula, and so affordable. Next would be the Jordana Easy Liner for lips. I absolutely love these lip liners, and I grab for them a lot. So first off is Rockin' Rose. This one is just kind of like the 90s sort of um, pinky brown kind of a color. And then this other one, you probably know what it is if you watch my channel. This is Tawny. This is such an amazing color because it just, goes with pretty much every nude lipstick. It goes with um, kind of more like, you know, natural wearable pinks. Um, it can go with like mauve lipsticks. It's just super versatile. So this one is Rock and Rose and this one is Tawny. Oh my goodness. I love these. And my thought on lip liners is, I don't know, it's a lip liner. You know what I mean? I know that they're not all the same. Some are more um, kind of hard and difficult to apply and you feel like you're kind of tugging on your lips, 
but these are definitely not like that. These are very creamy, but not too creamy where they slide around. They just have a good amount of stick to them. And just again, they're so affordable. They're like, I think $1.99 or something around $2 or so, but they are so good. And I really love these Rimmel Scandalized pencils. And I truly feel like these are in line with some higher end versions like this. Like these are the um, kind of chubbier pencils that can be great for, you could use these for a liner, but I kind of use them as like bases. But these are just, I mean, crazy creamy and blendable and they wear really well. I mean, these are so good. This darker one is bootleg brown. Look at that. That is amazing. Perfect base for a smoky eye. I think I used this in a video recently. So I love that one. And then this one is Trespassing Taupe. And that one is just a really beautiful kind of grayish taupey color. Gorgeous. So I love these for bases, but then also I love their pencils. These are just the Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Cole Kajal pencils. This one's in black. These are so pigmented. They last really, I mean, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so pigmented. That is so good. And they last really, really well on the eyes. Great in the waterline. These are fantastic pencils from the drugstore. So you've got your bases, you've got your pencils. So that's why I chose these because I feel like these are like go-to products. Like I pretty much wear an eyeliner every single day. So these are definitely a must have for me. Another super affordable must have for me would be e.l.f. brushes. And I use these brushes right here pretty regularly, especially these two. First, let me start with these. These are the eye brushes. You know, anytime I give like a friend who's not so much into makeup and doesn't really have like an extensive makeup collection, if I give them a makeup product like an eyeshadow palette, I'll throw these in there because they are really great eyeshadow brushes. They are fantastic. This one is the e.l.f. Professional Eyeshadow Brush, and I think it's just, you know, basically like a shader brush. So this one's great for packing color on your lid. And then this one is the Blending Eye Brush. So, so this is great for kind of your crease, your outer corner. It can be like a little blending sort of a brush. It's great, and these are both a dollar. And then these two are three dollars. So these are part of their studio line. This one is the blush brush. I use this for blush. I use it for setting my under eyes. I use it for contour and bronzer. Great brush. And then this one is a little bit harder to find. I found this in one Target, but you can get it on Elf's website too. This is the small tapered brush. And I love this for setting my under eyes. That's why it looks all white because I use it all the time and I'm probably puffing product everywhere. But I use this all the time. I love the shape of it. You could also use this for contour. It is just a great affordable brush, must have for me. And then for my final pick, I had to choose a product that I would absolutely be so sad and disappointed if they ever discontinued this product. And it is the Wet n Wild Fergie Eyeshadow Primer. It is the Take On The Day Eyeshadow Primer. I absolutely love this. I love it as much Really, no, I love it more than my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I love that primer, but really, I feel like this does a better job. Now, I would say if you have kind of drier lids, um, which I know is kind of more of a rarity, but some people do have dry eyelids, I would not say this is for you because it's pretty drying. But if you have oily lids and you just cannot get things to stay on your eyes, try this out. It is so good. It's kind of right on the cusp. It's like $4.99. So I barely got it under there, but it is so amazingly good. I love this primer. All right guys, those are all my top five under five. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and don't forget to go check out Candace. I will link her channel and her video down below. I know you will love her, and I'm really excited to see what she picks, and I wanna know what your top five under five would be. Let me know that down below. If you are coming over from Candace's channel, welcome. I hope that you'll watch some of my other videos and stick around for a while. I would love to have you. Ask me any questions that you have about any of these products. I'm happy to answer those, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.